What's going on everybody? This is Sean with Strangeland Oddities and I am with Ken Kersinger. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, great, Sean. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. good. For those of you who do not know who Ken is, uh, his most famous role is uh, Jason in Freddy vs. Jason. Now, I got a fan question. Uh, this is from a Michelle73 from Instagram. She wanted to know what your um, very first scene as Jason was to film. Uh, the first scene we did was Jason walking down Elm Street. Um, and I remember that night it was raining and uh, my first night on set and uh, they were shooting me from behind and kind of in sh uh, you see Jason's shadow looming down Elm Street and I remember the camera guy going can you can you walk so that your body doesn't sway and I was like Get, dude that's you can't do that put me on rollers then <laughs> it's physically impossible for a person not to walk and sway so I tried but uh, anyway they got what they got and what was your first killing scene the first kill was the uh, the girl at the lake, um, pinning her to the tree uh, with the machete. Yeah. Now um, you were also in Joyride Three, which you played the role of Rusty Nail. Uh, it was a really fun part to play, and uh, that's a character I'd love to play again, and even go a little lighter with him. Um, he kind of reminded me a bit of. Freddie and Jason. He's got, you know, sort of big and strong like Jason, but he, right. but he gets to uh, throw out some good quips uh, as, uh, as Rusty. So that was a real fun character to play. I think they should do a spinoff of uh, Rusty. I think people enjoy supernatural characters more. So I, I, I actually like to see Rusty sort of become a, you know, get, kill him off and uh, let him come back as a, as a uh, supernatural character. That's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, this is another fan question from uh, David Trench. He said, in Wrong Turn 2, uh, what were your thoughts on the script when presented that it was about a West Virginia inbreds that were cannibals? And do you have any Henry Rollins stories? Uh, stories um, and what was your favorite part of the, the movie? Um, I remember uh, working with Henry Rollins, and there's a scene in there where uh, I sort of sneak up on him and, and punch him and knock him out. And... Uh, I remember, so we did the scene and he, you know, I throw the punch and he goes down and then he gets up afterwards, cut, we got that, great, moving on. And uh, Henry uh, turned to me and he goes, I would not want to get hit by you. <laughs> um, but he was, he was great to work with and, and uh, it was enjoyable to do. Uh, the director, and his name is slipping my mind right now, was a huge uh, Freddy vs. Jason fan. And, uh, you know, I got a phone call, hey, he wants you to play Paul. So I uh, went and had a meeting at the hotel and boom, you know, I was in kind of thing. And it, at the, uh, the last week of filming, I had all these prosthetics on and I had a, one was a prosthetic ear. So every day af after work, I'd pull my prosthetic ear off and, and give it to him so he could make a necklace. So hopefully he <laughs> still has that. Nice. Now, after playing Freddy versus Jason, um, were you offered any more Jason roles after that? And no, I think you know if they had, if they'd maybe come back to Vancouver to shoot again, uh, they just tend to hire whoever is local. Um, they like to hire stuntmen because it's a very physical role. Um, but no, I've never been offered another role playing uh, playing Jason. Now, in your latest movie, The Assignment, which is with Michelle Rodriguez, uh, Sigourney Weaver, and Tony Shalhoub, that was a pretty um, twist on Michelle Rodriguez's character going through the forced transgender surgery. Uh, what were your thoughts of, about that part of the film? You know, I knew that it was going to kick up a lot of stink, you know, a forced uh, uh, transgender operation, and uh, they changed the name of that a couple of times. It was originally... Uh, Tomboy or Avengers Tale, and then it went to uh, the assignment, and I think there was one more name they gave it in there. And um, I know that Michelle's sort of uh, take on it was, hey, it's going to bring attention to uh, transgender, and uh, but it really got a lot of negative uh, negative press for that. Really? Yeah. Uh, Walter Hill, uh, who wrote it and directed it, of course, you know, brilliant guy. Um, you know, I just don't think he saw a conflict in that when he was writing it. Um, but that's, you know, it was a it was great to work with Sigourney Weaver and, and uh, oh, yeah. Michelle, and uh, so it was a great experience to do that. Nice. Now going back to 
Jason Voorhees, when you were first asked to play Jason, were there any doubts in your mind that you could not do the part? Oh, no. No, I, uh, well, I'd worked on number eight. I'd worn the costume before. I had a good sense of what the, you know, the Friday the 13th movies were all about. Um, honestly, it was one of the easiest, I call them suit jobs, uh, that I've ever done. I, I, because I've played werewolves, Sasquatches, robots, you know, a lot of different uh, costumed characters and stuff like that. So I'm used to um, using body language to, to tell a story and stuff like that. So I, I really didn't think it was a big deal at all. Now, you also do a lot of stunts in a lot of movies like Cabin in the Woods, uh, Messages Deleted, The Killing Machine, The Final Storm, 2012. Uh, X-Men, Origins, Wolverine, and much, much more. Uh, what was your favorite stunt in a movie to actually do? Um, I did a sequence doubling Jeff Goldblum on a movie called Hideaway. On the night with, the, with his family, and uh, there's a gravel truck coming up the highway, and it's, uh, the driver's falling asleep, so he comes into their lane as they come around a corner, and he has to, to slide the car sideways at about 50 miles an hour, clip the front end of the gravel truck, do a 360, go backwards off the side of the road, the car stalls on the side of the road, uh, we get the girl out, uh, the daughter out of the car, as then the car continues down the side of the mountain into a river, the car sinks and uh, Jeff Goldblum's character drowns uh, and his, you know, his body is pulled out of the car by, by his wife. So that sequence was one of my, uh, you know, the, the, the car stunt just, uh, you know, it, it took a lot of skill and we did it in one shot and it was perfect just they didn't even have to move the cameras where where we wanted it to happen it happened and uh, just all went really well so I was, you know I was pretty proud of that one oh, nice. um, I also broke I think two or three vertebrae in my back doubling them on that movie uh, landing on concrete um, so it, that makes it memorable too, memorable too. nice um, so how, how was it working with Robert England oh you know I get asked that all the time and uh, he, you know, he is such a sweetheart, and, and uh, I just love the guy, and uh, I love his wife Nancy. We, we, when we went to Europe to promote the movie, we got to hang out, and uh, I actually felt guilty because they just they included me in everything, and we ended up in Paris, and uh, after we'd done a few other places, Germany, and a few others, and uh, finally I just said to him, I go, look guys, no, I'm not going with you. you <laughs> we're in Paris, you know, you guys go out and have fun, and... Um, they're just such awesome people, and I'm glad that I've gotten the opportunity to sort of become friends with them. And, uh, you know, I'll be seeing Robert here, and uh, I'm hoping Nancy's going to be here. I don't know if she is or not, but I uh, but, uh, love going for dinner and hearing uh, Robert's stories, which always get better with every glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're actually the third Jason in a month that I've interviewed. Uh, last weekend I did Kane Hodder. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing C.J. Graham as well. Great. Um, so, um, besides from doing these conventions, uh, is there any other future with you as Jason? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, Robert and I always talk about a uh, Freddy vs. Jason sequel whenever we get together. And we've, we've got some ideas that uh, I think, you know, Robert would love to pitch when it, if it ever came to the right moment to do it. Um, I think that would be the only way that, that, it, that it might happen uh, because you hire different directors, they've got different people in mind. All the other guys have done a great job to, you know, playing Jason in their various movies and, and uh, I actually heard that uh, Kane might have been lined up to do another Friday the 13th but it went under or something like that. Uh, so no, no plans in the works uh, just yet but uh, you know if I got asked. If, if the call came, you know, I'd be in, sure, yeah. Now, um, after this convention, uh, what else do you have planned? Um, do you have any movies that you're working on? Yeah, we're developing one called uh, uh, Crimson Creek Massacre, which is kind of a western uh, uh, serial killer slasher movie. Um, and uh, actually with the Soska sisters uh, that are here uh, this weekend. And we're hoping to show a uh, fan trailer that we put together for it. And uh, we've shown it a couple other places, and it's gotten really good uh, response. So uh, we're hoping to finish that movie uh, this fall, I think that was the last I heard. 
And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that. And uh, I, I'm uh, writing other projects, uh, some uh, action movies, and, and uh, trying to stay busy doing that. Excellent. And do you have any last uh, words for your fans? Yeah, come on down to the Mad Monster Party, guys. You'll have fun. There's a lot of great people here, and, uh, and uh, you'll have a great time. All right, everybody. Again, this is uh, Sean with Strangeland Oddities. I'm with Ken Kersinger, uh, which I said is uh, best known as Jason and Freddy vs. Jason, but he's done a bunch of other things. You got to love that shirt, too. And definitely check him out. And Strangeland Oddities is out of here.